as I'm looking at my application now, um, there's a few things I would like to do to it just to tidy it up. Um, I would like to have center alignment. Um, I would like to format these numbers to only two decimal places. Uh, and then I would want to auto fit uh, so that the column becomes as wide as the data. And I also might want to sort. So let's take a look at how we can accomplish some of those things. The first thing I'll look at is auto fit. So if my columns are not as wide as my data, up here I'm chopped off some of the header, here I've chopped off some of the student name, I want to make that auto fit. It's a pretty simple command. I'm just going to select the, in, the range to start with, uh, the entire column property, and the auto fit method. Looks something like this. And now column A becomes just as wide as my data. If I wanted to specify this for the entire data set, uh, I could do a range of ranges like this. So start at A1 for the top left, for the bottom right, start at A1 and go to the right. That should find all of my columns and then auto fit them. And notice these are a lot wider because this data is wider. So pretty easy way to clean up some of the formatting and make, make things more readable. So the next thing I want to look at is number formatting to bring this down to two decimal places. And so that's going to be in my total row. So I can handle it here in the total row formatting. I've selected the total row. So this is just going to be within um, that with statement. And the property we're going to use is number format equals to, and then just a string for pattern matching. So here it'll have uh, numbers to the left of the decimal dot two numbers to the right of the decimal. So let's see what this looks like. And you can see it comes down as it should. If I added another, it would put three decimal places. I can use debug.print to figure this out. So if I had a value out here in G1, I could format it as currency. So after I manually formatted a number, I could come into my immediate window and debug.print that particular range, the number format. So I'm basically asking the question, what does that number format look like? And it would give it to me in dollars. This number could then be inserted in the middle of number format. And now I'll see these formatted as dollars. So another useful uh, way that we can use debug.print uh, in this immediate window. But for now, I'm going to set it back to just a two decimal place number. The other thing that I might want to be able to do to my data is work with the horizontal alignment. Uh, so here, if I highlight this, I can see that it's centered. I can move it left. I can move it right. Uh, so I want to work with that. In the total row, I noticed it looks like it's right justified in the total row. So the total row has been identified. The horizontal alignment is just XL center. This could be left if for left justified or right for right justified, but I want center. Brings it in line nicely. Just like I have horizontal alignment, I can have vertical alignment. So if I have a tall cell and I have data in that cell, I can align it to the top with vertical alignment equals XL top. I can align it to the center. Or I can align it to the bottom.
The other thing I want to be able to do with data is sort it. So I want to select all of my data. And after I've selected my data, uh, I want to sort by score one in ascending order. So lowest number at the top, highest number at the bottom. So let's see, first I need to pick my data. So I'm going to try, uh, top left is A1, bottom right is E1, index L down. Let's see if this works. It is selecting my data. So I can change to sort. It wants to know the key one. I'm going to sort based off of range B1, which is that first score. Next, it wants to know the order for one. Sorting in ascending order. And the next thing that I need to know is if my uh, data has a header. Okay, so it should sort all of this selected data, all this data, based off B1, which is score one, in ascending order, so lowest to highest, and it does have a header. So I should see student five come right after student two, if this works. And it is working. I can also sort in descending. Okay. And I can add a second sort order in here. So it's going to sort based off score B1 first. And then after that, it will sort based off score B2. First, it's sorting based off score one, so highest to lowest. And of these three that are equal in score one, then next it's going to base sort based off score two. So it looks like it's working correctly. So you can do a lot of things with, uh, with sorting uh, your data. First select it, then pick your keys, your sort order, and finally just specify if you have headers or not.